And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. It was a nice day and now temperatures have cooled off into the mid 20s with calm winds out there and it does look like for the next 24 hours we'll have calm and variable winds. Temperatures have dropped down to 22 in Anago, 23 in Shano, down into the teens in Otoma, 23 in Oshkosh and 22 in Surgeon Bay. The radar has remained pretty quiet today. Yesterday we had a few bands of some light snow that came through, but today we have a weak level of high pressure passing through, but you see off towards the west, some light snow showers moving in from Minnesota, North Dakota. It's all associated with this low pressure right here over the northern plains, traveling east and southeast, but as it does so, it is weakening in intensity, and it does appear that we will be missing out on the white Christmas potential. That doesn't mean that still we could still have a few flurries or a passing snow shower during the day tomorrow, but overall, it does appear that our chance of having any decent accumulations of snowfall of an inch or more will be coming to an end. However, a much larger system is heading in our way by Thursday and Friday, and it's coming in from the west coast, currently impacting parts of the Sierras and the Cascade Mountains. So this is what we look at at about late Wednesday night. Snowfall and rain down towards our west and southwest. A warm front will lift northward overnight into Thursday morning. Initially, it does appear that we will start off with snowfall briefly, but then the warm front moves through, changes over that snow over to rainfall, and then it rains throughout the whole day on Thursday into Friday morning. System lifts out of the area. We got cold air that wraps behind it, changes over that rain over to snowfall, and we could see another light accumulation on the backside. Snowfall totals right now look to be confined the heaviest amounts up towards the Northlands where the coldest air will be so located. The rest of us, not a whole lot of snowfall. And while we see these totals at around an inch, some of that is going to be melting because first we have a round before the rain and then another one behind it. And rainfall totals could be pretty significant, about a half inch to an inch and a half of rainfall. Well, a lot of moisture with the system. Calm winds overnight tonight, 20 degrees, increasing cloud cover. And then for tomorrow, a chance of a few flurries out there. High temperature right around the freezing mark, 32 degrees. We get to 33 on Wednesday, dry day. Then a chance, so more, I shouldn't say chance, likelihood. Thursday, Friday, wintry mix moving in here. A few flurries on the backside on Saturday. Dry weather on Sunday for the last game of the Packer season. And that's when we start hitting the new year as well. I know, time's flying. It really has, but winter just beginning. Yeah, hopefully it's not too bad. Agreed. Thanks, Gino. Coming up on NBC 26 at 6, 